Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here today. <laughs> uh, I'm Akimi Hirai, an iOS engineer at LOI Corporation. Today, I talk about C++ interoperability. But before I go into it, let me introduce a project I have been working for. Simtrans is an open source transport simulator. In this game, you can build a city, pave tracks and roads, and carry the passengers in your own world. I had developed this Japanese fork for seven years, and now many users use my Japanese fork. However, Simtrans player frequently see segmentation for crash. So what makes this happen? Okay, let's look into the Simtrans code base. Simtrans is currently 26 years old, and it has almost 600,000 lines of code. It is mostly written in C++ 98, so it's the legacy. Here's what's happening in Simtrans. In Simtrans, everything is passed by pointers. In this example, the way object is fetched by, via the tile pointer, and oops, set speed limit function is used via the way pointer. As you noticed, these pointers can be potentially new, and if these pointers are new, accessing them will cause a crash. To prevent a crash, we have to do the null pointer, null pointer check like this. This is needed every time we handle new pointer, and we have to write them by hand. Forgetting them will lead a new point access crash. So, to reduce this kind of crash and modernize the code base, I'm now looking for the successor language. The new language should prevent the new point access and have a safe automated memory management. However, the code base is already large and I cannot reproduce the whole project at once. The migration has to be step by step. In this situation, what is the best candidate for modernizing a C++ code? The answer is Swift, of course. Because, as you know, Swift has a perfect solution for neural point access, optional chain. Swift compiler ensures the validation, and we are no longer suffer from this kind of crash. Simply using Swift will solve the neural point access issue. However, this kind of type safety is also offered by other languages like Kotlin and Rust. So, what makes Swift the best candidate for more than C++? The answer is C++ interoperability. With C++ interoperability, C++ types and functions are exposed to Swift. So, in Swift code, you can directly initialize C++ type object and call the Swift C++ functions like this. Also, Swift types and functions are exposed to C++. So, in C++, you can initialize Swift type object like this and call the Swift functions directly. As we see, Swift and C++ have now the bidirectional interoperability. And we noticed that this is very similar to Objective-C Swift interoperability. We already have experience to migrate Objective-C code to, C, uh, to Swift with this interoperability. So we can expect that we can use C++ interoperability to migrate the old C++ code to Swift code. Okay, let's see if we can really do the migration for C++, for, uh, from C++ to Swift with C++ interoperability. In fact, there are some topics to be considered, but today I focus on the most important topic, inheritance migration. Inheritance is widely used in Simtrans. In Simtrans, you can operate some type of vehicles, including trains, trucks, and airplanes. Since these have uh, some common properties like speed, 
weight, and capacity, these types are abstracted by the type big O T. So today, let's switch by rail big O T. Please note that the, we own, uh, the super class is still in C++. We will certify only the child class. But before I go into certify, we have some limitations in current C++ interoperability. Swift types cannot inherit C++ types. Also, C++ types cannot inherit Swift types. In this situation, how can we migrate the C++ types to Swift, preserving the inheritance relationships? Okay, let's start from here. Rail vehicle T is a class we are going to certify. First, we replace rail vehicle T with a switch file track, rail vehicle. This track has a superclass instance in it, and you can call the superclass functions and properties via this super property. And to abstract both existing C++ types and Swift types in the C++, we add abstract vehicle T. This is a pure virtual class, and it has the same definitions as vehicle T. Also, instead of directly calling the switch file struct from C++, we add wrap rail vehicle T. This is a wrapper class of the rail vehicle, the switch file struct, and it is abstracted by the abstract vehicle T. Now, in C++, you can abstract both existing C++ types and switch file types with the same class, abstract vehicle T. In Swift, you can do the same abstraction in much easier way to abstract C++ types and Swift file types. In Swift, we add Swift protocol vehicle. And road vehicle T and rail vehicle both conforms this protocol using extension Swift. Now, road vehicle T and rail, object, rail, rail vehicle objects are now together in the same Swift array. As we see, we need some efforts for inheritance migration, but C++ interoperability is rapid to develop these days. We can expect improvements for this area as well. So now it's time to start our journey to modernize the C++ code to Swift. If you get interested in C++ Swift inter uh, migration, let's discuss in the Ask the Speaker corner. I hope you will enjoy Switch find the C++ code. Thanks. Thank you.